attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. This morning at approximately 1 a.m., the Knight County Sheriff's Office responded to a robbery at the Horizon Market at 5020 South Pahrump Valley Boulevard. A male entered the building and fired one round into the ceiling, causing all the other occupants in the store to go to the ground. The suspect then went behind the counter and stole several packs of, cig of cigarettes as well as other miscellaneous items. The gentleman came through the door, right in the, rang the alarm sound that somebody is coming to the store. Next thing I know, I've heard a loud bang, which I recognize to be a gunshot. He came around the co he came in, screamed at everyone to get on the ground. Everyone but myself dropped instantly following his instructions. As he came around to the back side of the counter, I backed up very slowly and calmly as possible, allowing him to take whatever he wanted. As soon as I could, I tried to press my panic alarm. The clerk recognized the suspect from other previous encounters and was able to provide limited information on the suspect's identity. The sheriff's office was able to identify the suspect as 20-year-old Cole Farrington and was able to locate an address on approximately the 1,000 block of Casey Road. NCSO deputies responded to that location and made contacts with occupants inside. Cole was the one that answered the door and immediately acknowledged his involvement in the robbery. CSO deputies and detectives also encountered several juveniles at the residence as well as three additional adults. A search warrant was obtained for the property and detectives and deputies conducted a search of that location. During the search, the gun from the robbery was located as well as stolen cigarettes and other miscellaneous items. Alcohol and drugs were also located with the juveniles. Christine McGee Sean Davis and Daniel Sandquist were all arrested for contributing to the delinquency of the minor. In addition to that, Daniel Sandquist was also charged with destroying and concealing evidence. Cole Farrington was booked into the Knight County Detention Center on the following charges, robbery with a deadly weapon, burglary with a firearm, petty larceny, four counts of assault with a deadly weapon, discharge of a firearm in a public place, discharge of a firearm into an occupied building, four counts of aiming a firearm at a person, contributing to delinquency of a minor, and destroying or concealing evidence. It was a great night, a lot of hard work. I'm really proud of the guys. From start to finish tonight, my squad worked it as worked as one. Everything went perfect. Um, interviews, crime scene investigation, down to where we actually did the final knock and talk at the suspect's house. As a detention and patrol work well together, we, we try to be available to them any time they need us. Case came together very well. Um, the clerk at the store identified the suspect, which helped us identify the residents. Um, all the deputies worked together in determining who the suspects were, again, which led us to this residence and ultimately was able to find the suspect and arrest him. I'm better now that everyone is here. I feel safe and I appreciate just the very quick response. I'm really proud of my staff. I'm proud of where they started, how they've grown, and where they are today.